What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be working on the bumper tabs as you guys seen last time. Christine actually went ahead and started molding in the fenders and then started uh, cutting it. So my job today is gonna be to actually make the bumper tabs. Now I don't know where to start on this, but I think I'm gonna just wing it and then hopefully it works. Um, I already started working on one side. This is a little tab that I made right here. So what I plan on doing is making a small tab and then putting it on the car and then fiberglassing it to match up with this one right here. Um, I'm also thinking about making a, a small fiberglass piece so that the bumper stops. It's kind of hard to explain, but I guess I just have to show you. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing myself, like I said, so this is gonna be an interesting video. So I put the car, I put the bumper back on the car. Now I'm gonna have to match this fender back up somehow and then clip it together so that it doesn't move. That way when I fiberglass this together, it's gonna look perfect. All right. So I got the line pretty much flat and this corner lines up perfectly. So is the edge. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come on the inside if you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fiberglass the top half and lay it on top of this. That way the, the flat edges line up parallel together. And then I'm probably gonna put a top half that from here that comes all the way down here. So that way the inside doesn't flex past the fender inward this way. Um, yeah. All right guys, so I have my fiberglass pieces cut right here. So I'm gonna do three layers on that bumper tab piece for the top. And then I'm gonna do two layers that's gonna go right here so that the bumper doesn't flex forward, kind of like a stopper so that this doesn't go on the inside. So I have my fiberglass resin. I'm gonna drop a few drops of this activator or hardener in it. Should be good enough. Alright guys, so I decided to add the little tab here since I had a little extra resin left over. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same process that I did over here. So we're letting this cure right now, but I just wanna show you guys the outside. So I put a bunch of aluminum tape. This is just the type of tape that they use for like uh, the ducting in your homes and stuff. The reason why I use aluminum tape is because the plastic, uh, not the plastic, but the fiberglass won't stick to it. It allows me to take the bumper apart after it's done and then hold its shape. So right now we're just gonna let this dry for a few, maybe like an hour or so, just to really fully harden and then uh, take everything apart. All right, so we let it dry for about an hour or so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take up the clamp and pull the bumper apart. And hopefully it turned out how I think it's gonna. So I think that's a success. Um, it did what I thought it was gonna do, or what I wanted it to do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut off all this excess uh, fiberglass and stuff. All right guys, so this is what it looks like when I took the bumper off. As you guys can see, uh, I got a bumper tab right here and it's pretty strong. And then uh, I cleaned it up a little bit so it's a little bit more shaped, I guess you could say, with the cutoff wheel. So it lines up. It lines up with this one right here. What I'm gonna do is put the, put the bumper back together and then uh, match up the tabs and then drill holes. I'm probably just gonna use zip ties. Um, that way I can just easily take, take off the bumper. And then uh, if you guys notice, I made this little tab here. This is so that the bumper stays flush, I guess, with the fender. You guys will see as when I put it back together.
as you guys know, the bumper tabs are done. Christine is out there painting the lip, as you guys will see in a different video. But uh, yeah, so the reason why we decided to mold these flares onto this OEM bumper is because we are gonna be putting on, we'll be putting our own touches to this bumper here. Um, I feel like a lot of the Z's look the same because everybody's just buying kits. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna buy an aftermarket bumper, but I decided to put my own touch to this bumper right here. So all of that will be going down after this next drift event, which will be the last drift event for the year for us at least, at least I think so. Um, which will be November, the ending of November. My brother's gonna be here, so we're gonna go take him to a drift event. Um, and that will be the last drift event until we put the car down for the rest of the year and then uh, put some changes to it and then probably do the whole color change and all that as well. All right, you guys? So that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys rocking with us. You guys are the best. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go cop a sticker down below to support the channel. All the proceeds from the sticker will be going straight to this project and this channel here to keep videos coming for you guys. So if you guys are down with that, please go ahead and purchase a sticker. It really helps us out a lot. Please make sure you subscribe if you guys haven't already. A bunch of you guys watch the videos, but you guys don't subscribe. All you gotta do is hit that button down below and you guys will subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button as well so that way you guys will be notified every single time we put out a video. Hit the thumbs up button, it helps people find our videos. And thank you guys again for rocking with us. You guys are the best, all right? Peace out and stay good.